Well, you can see the smoke coming out the chimney. There's no way any drone is going up in this wind. It is very, very windy. But yeah, the mighty Pont Casilti. Hi. We're blinded by the smoke and the sun, but we've done the mighty Pont Casilti again. Look at that. Yeah. We have. I'm We're free experts now. I'm freezing. <laughs> freezing. <laughs> and they put these temporary gates either side because there is some maintenance work from the 3rd of January. They are going to be closing the footpath that goes over the Pont Casilti. So we've got one of these new gates either side. So there goes Nicky just past the winding hole here and that left hand bend is a lift bridge. So Nicky's gone off with the windlass again. Well, it's about another hour, hour and ten minutes there, thereabouts, and we should be at uh, the poachers in Chirk and uh, all safely moored up. I would just like to take this opportunity, though, to thank all of our PayPal and Patreon supporters. Um, really do appreciate your help, guys. We couldn't do it without you, so thank you very, very much indeed. I'm not just saying that. And if you are new to the channel, um, please like and subscribe. That's free. <laughs> and uh, you will be notified uh, whenever I put a new vlog out so uh, yeah thanks very much guys So we're just coming up to White House Tunnel, which is the first of two tunnels that we're doing today. We're testing our new torch. Nikki bought me a nice new torch. It's amazing.
Wow, that torch is working nice. I know. That's brilliant. I know Christmas lights are going for it. <laughs> have we got the Christmas lights on? We have. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Now, where's that boat in front of us come from? You might ask. What happened there? I don't know. Bit of canal magic? Was it? Something like that, yeah. Was it? Well, it wasn't canal magic. We moored up just back there. There was a cracking piece of wood. So we moored up and there was a boat following us. So uh, they've just gone round us. Uh, just around the next bend is the second and last tunnel of the day, Chirk Tunnel. A little bit longer than White House, but it's no biggie. Um, and then about half an hour after that, we'll be mooring up. But in between, the marvellous Chirk Aqueduct and Viaduct. Uh, alongside us as well but the lights fading it's getting cold um, we're both a bit chilled mm -hmm. yeah, we're both very very cold but it's lovely and warm in the boat looking forward to more in up oops Okay, babe, you can turn that one off now. Thank you. Oh, we we got the police lights on. Look. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. We come straight out of Chirk Tunnel. There's a large wind in a hole here, and then we are straight on to the Chirk Aqueduct and. Uh, the boat in front of us is obviously on the aqueduct, so it must be clear. So we can just follow her straight on. So here we go, straight on to the beautiful Jerk Aqueduct. Now there's nothing we'd like more than to get the drone and show the beauty of this structure, but I'd lose my drone. It is quite windy, it is a bit breezy. I don't know whether the flag is blowing there, but you can see it is a bit breezy. So uh, not worth the risk today. But even on a cold, cold winter's day, on a boxing day actually, looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. just be able to see through the arches down there the river Kerryog that's the border we're still in Wales and then when we cross the river we're back in England again 
The wind is definitely getting up. Well, that's it we're all moored up very windy as you could probably hear or you just heard poachers is just down there so uh, hopefully um, we're gonna have a look in there perhaps have a meal I know I got a bit of a slating off one viewer to say that I was down in the pub when we were on the way wasn't down in the pub one little bit hi say hello there you go <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs> Um, no, I wasn't uh, criticising. Oh, there's some more. Say hello. hello. <laughs> uh, lots of people on the towpath today. Um, yeah, I wasn't criticising the pub. I know a lot of our friends stayed here and they went to get food there when they were advertising food and saying that they were open and they were closed. And then when they were open, they weren't doing food when they said they were. That wasn't hearsay. That was fact. That you know, that was they were friends of ours. I have stayed here a couple of years ago and had food here and it was excellent. So please, I'm not down in the poachers one little bit. Fish and chips there is amazing. And I'm hopefully going to get fish and chips tonight. Uh, we booked a table. Um, so we're just going there, just a, a simple meal tonight. We're all very, very cold. Well, Nikki and myself are freezing. Uh, so we're just going to go in now, get a bit of a swill uh, and then take the kids for a bit of tea. But that was a lovely cruise today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, staying still tomorrow, day off tomorrow, and then Wednesday, uh, we're going up to my hometown. See you later, folks. Good morning. The sun's out. It's as windy as anything. It's a very windy morning this morning, so uh, I don't know how the filming will go. But uh, yeah, it's Thursday the 29th of December. Um, I have just took Primrose back to the boat. She's been, so it's just me and Dale now. But it is nice. I think we're going to be in for a windy cruise, though. Uh, we've been here for a few days. Uh, got here on Boxing Day. Uh, we have been for a meal in the poachers, and I have to say... They said they were cooking, and they were. And they were open when they were supposed to be. And the meal was fantastic. I had a barbecue uh, chicken. Um, uh, what Noah had chicken nuggets and chips, and the rest of them had fish and chips. And they were all very, very nice. And the service was top class. So there you go. Um, and then yesterday, we had the most magical day. Matt picked us up, and we spent the day at Amy's. Um, it was lovely to see little George playing with his Christmas presents and of course Noah got involved too. It was brilliant. Uh, we had a nice walk around Buckley. Uh, showed uh, Nikki my old house that I used to live in um, and uh, we walked up to the shops, did a bit of shopping. Sorry about the wind noise folks but there's very little I can do about it. Well I'll start walking back now actually. Come on Dale, we'll go back this way baby. Come on. Um, and then we went to my old local, where I've got lots of happy memories, the Shamrock there in Buckley. Uh, we went there and we just had one, uh, and then went back to Amy's, and we had a nice Chinese for tea, and then Amy brought us back. Um, we're going to try and have another day like that uh, soon, I hope. Anyway, we're going to try and plan something, because uh, we're planning quite a big adventure next year, and I'll, I'll let you know what that is. If you don't know, I'll let you know shortly. Um, but it might be some time before we get to see them again. So uh, it could be a busy year, a chug a book this year. But I'm going to get back to the boat now. I'm going to set up the table so as the little ones can play with their Christmas presents. Uh, Noah got some 
lovely big Lego set for Father Christmas. So uh, if he's got the, the table set, he can play with that. We'll be cruising. And they're having a nice pyjama day today. So, yeah. All's good. Going to get my gloves on. Get wrapped up. Let's get cruising. As you can probably hear, it is very windy today and these are waters that you've seen before so I may not be doing a lot of filming today. We just want to make headway perhaps to Bridge 68, uh, go through Newmarton Locks. Uh, Bridge 68 is a nice quiet moor in there in the middle of nowhere and it's been a while since we've actually been moored up on our own. So uh, that's where we'd like to go or at least somewhere on our own. But we'll see and we see what Mother Nature's got in store for us. It's supposed to be dry and sunny today, but uh, apparently towards the weekend we're supposed to be getting 65 mile an hour winds. So we want to be anchored down nice and safe. Now, last night, Nicky and I made a decision. You'll have to try and keep up here. A little bit further down the Fangothlan um, is a lock flight called Grindley Brook. Now, that closes for some winter maintenance on the uh, 9th, the 9th of January. It closes on the 9th of January and opens up on the 20th of February. Hurlston, the last little lock flight just before you drop down to the Shropshire Union, closes on the 3rd of January and opens on the 4th of February. So technically we could cruise through Grinley Brook now before the 9th, before it closes, and then we could be off the Fangothlan by the 4th of February. But we've decided to stay this end of Grinley Brook, so uh, we're going to be limited on this side of Grinley Brook until at least the 20th of February. There's more for the kids to do, there's more for us to do, and there's more places to get shopping and more uh, facilities, more services and everything. So it will make life a lot easier for us. So uh, that's what we're doing before our sort of spring summer cruise uh, starts. So that's the plan anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. I think it was a good decision made and little Jack uh, his mum can uh, nip him over, so if he wants to come for a sleepover every so often, he can do. It's really nice when you get in between the trees. Uh, you get a bit of the warmth of the sun there and you get the shielding from this very strong wind as well. Uh, makes cruising a lot easier, makes filming a lot easier too. <laughs> 